And I uh, haven't shot a video for quite some time, but uh, going to be jumping back into it here and thought we would do one uh, here in the morning um, at our dealership here in Leduc, just to kind of give you a little bit of a feel for what our showroom looks like, but also to highlight a uh, really exciting product uh, that we're carrying here at, at our dealership. But uh, we're here at our dealership in Leduc, and we're going to jump into it here on the 2021 KZ Escape. This is a E17 hatch model with the off-road, off-grid package. Um, I'm very excited about this product. We picked this lineup last year. Uh, it's been a long time coming to get the product. We have been selling it um, to people that uh, have been coming in looking for a very lightweight, uh, conventionally built travel trailer. And we've done exceptionally well with it this year. And uh, the, the hatch series within the KZ lineup of the Escape, is, they have a few floor plans available, but it's a really interesting concept um, for, I would call this more of an adventure style trailer for somebody that you know wants to do the, uh, the kayaking and the mountain biking and maybe head off grid and you know get out and do some random camping, out west camping, boondock camping, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, a little travel trailer like this uh, may be right for you, but uh, this trailer is packed full of feature content, value, uh, weight saving capabilities. But what's beautiful about this trailer and part of the reason why I looked for a trailer like this to acquire it um, was I didn't want a teardrop uh, trailer. I wanted a fiberglass trailer. I didn't want a really, you know, entry level type product, but I wanted a trailer that was built by a manufacturer with a great reputation. Um, solid foundation, solid structure in a lighter weight package and packed full of equipment. And uh, the KZ Escape definitely uh, hits the mark. And I'm just gonna shoot in on the back of this trailer here because this is where it gets really exciting uh, for those adventure style uh, campers that wanna pack a lot of gear. So we'll, we'll might as well just start right here at the back. So this is the hatch series. So it's a great big baggage door uh, with a window in it. They do uh, have an enclosure over top of that window for a, a window covering. Uh, but the concept and the idea of this is that this is for the type of RVer that wants to pack some larger items. Um, or bring the outside in, you know, really get out and open up the trailer, make it really airy. But, you know, if you've got long kayaks, you know, let's face it, mountain bikes, uh, bikes of that nature are, you know, electric bikes, those sorts of things. They're not very cheap anymore. And so, you know, a lot of people don't necessarily want to hang their mountain bikes off the back of their trailer where they're maybe susceptible to road debris, damage, uh, theft, those sorts of things. So with this hatch series, it makes it really, really easy for you to be able to, you know, haul your more expensive goods, your larger items protected from the elements. It almost becomes a great big storage locker. You know, if you only use your kayaks and mountain bikes while you're camping, you know, you can store those goods right in here while you have your trailer stored at your house it acts as an extra storage locker maybe as well you know while you got the trailer parked for the winter those sorts of things but uh, super exciting product this again is the e17 hatch uh, so again at the rear of this trailer this uh, this tire with the off grow uh, off road off grid package you get the beefier tires it's more of a mud tire westlake tire comes with a great warranty this will actually fold down out of the way to allow this big door uh, to fold back down. There is a screen, a privacy screen here at the back that will roll down um, and it works really good. There is a, uh, um, a zipper that goes down the middle of it. So if you wanna open it up and leave the screen down to be able to get in and out without the bugs coming in, uh, you can definitely do that. We have it stowed uh, up out of the way and strapped up, but that will go right down to the floor and it Velcros around the opening of the, uh, the, the entrance. You in theory could, um, you know, have this turned into, this is your seating area or your dinette area at the back of the trailer. You've got two benches here, great storage under this one. Your fresh water tank is under this one here. Um, but this is a great eating area. If you've got some rainy weather, that sort of thing. The two di you've got two tables that come with this trailer and I've got them set up underneath the awning, which I, what I love about this is that you get a ton of flexibility with what you can do with the tables. The tables do fold up. They do get stowed underneath that one bench. 
but these are the dinette tables if you just need one or you want two to be able to fill in the area uh, for eating inside the trailer you can definitely do that um, but there are also three panels that will fill in on these rails here going across and this will make into a bed as well so if you have a guest um, maybe it's um, you know you've got a, a son or daughter or a couple of kids and you just want this to be the extra sleeping for them you can definitely do it um, or if you want more of that you know outdoor camping tent feel you could literally sleep with the screen down and have this set up as a bed and have that real nice fresh air as you're uh, as you're sleeping through the night so lots of lots of cool things going on with this particular trailer um, they do put the uh, the floor anchors in it as well so if you have you know things that you want to strap down like kayaks you know your mountain bikes all sorts of things um, make it really really easy you're not gonna have to worry about those contents you know shifting in transport we actually just had a, a young gal uh, purchase one of these trailers and she had three big dogs and so this was the area at the back of the trailer where her, where her puppies were gonna sleep, gives them lots of floor space to be able to stretch out in the main beds in the front, which is a residential queen size bed. So really, really cool. Um, from a stability perspective, from the ground up, this particular trailer does have the four point scissor jack. So you got a scissor jack on each corner. Being that it's a shorter trailer, super, super stable when you get up inside and you have those jacks cranked down and they are a 2,500 pound scissor jack. So you could in theory do some minor leveling with them, but they're primarily meant for stabilization. Okay, um, one of the features that's part of the off-grid, off-road package is the Suburban Griddle. Uh, real cool uh, setup here. Um, you know, you can do your burgers, your hot dogs. There's a mount, it's hanging, literally mounts right to the sidewall of the trailer, which is fantastic, has a perfect uh, height. And again, these tables work perfectly for a really nice setup of an outdoor cooking area, uh, which we've got set up here. So again, one thing you'll find with the Escape across all of the floor plans is fantastic ground clearance. So for those people, again, that you know, want to go a little bit off road, take it down the bumpy path, like the clearance that you get with the KZ Escape, not just with the off grid, uh, off road package, um, but across the line, you've got that excellent clearance. And with that folding in and out double entry step makes it really easy to, um, to take this trailer wherever you want to go. And again, the 15 inch mud tire has a real cool look, alloy wheel, uh, easy lube hubs, you know, you can do a wheel bearing repack right in your own driveway. You've also got here, I'll just show you, the barbecue quick connect as well. So you can hook your griddle up to that, it comes with the propane hose it connects to. The other cool thing about this griddle here, folks, is that you don't have to set it up on the outside wall of your trailer. There's little rubber feet here, so you can actually move it out if it's a little windy on the entry side of your trailer and you want to move it around to the back side on a table or something, you can definitely do that. There's a ton of flexibility uh, with the setup on this trailer. So just shooting back on the, the, the KZ Escape here, very large power awning, it's fully adjustable. You know, you can set up a beautiful camp space if it's raining, pull that picnic bench up underneath, pull your patio mat underneath, uh, you know, set up a fantastic camp area. Um, one of the things with the KZ Escape folks is they do use a laminated fiberglass sidewall. Uh, it's an inch and a half, which does give you that R7 uh, R, R factor for your insulation. So, you know, this wouldn't be considered a winter style trailer, although um, you could go, you know, spring to fall time would be great. Uh, part of the off-road, off-grid package are um, temperature controlled 12 volt heat blankets right on your holding tanks. Uh, which comes with that package so it's going to keep those tanks a little warmer as uh, as you're going through those colder colder temperatures which is nice uh, the roof construction they use their uh, their aluma skin aluma tough uh, roof membrane up there folks it's more abrasion resistant um, you know a tree branch you know it comes down it's going to hit it they use an 040 thickness up on the roof it's very very lightweight uh, but very very strong more so than what you would get with your luon paneling with the rubber roof that you find on a lot of the the trailers in the industry today uh, and again they do put the gutters up there so that you know if it's raining the water comes off and the water's diverted away from the trailer which is really really good so 
Uh, they've got a new profile on the front. This is the completely redesigned escape. So they've radius the front wall of the trailer, put in an automotive bonded windshield. It's a laminated windshield, it's very similar to what you'd have in a car. Uh, we've had no issues with them, but it really helps brighten up the inside of the trailer, creates a really nice uh, automotive aerodynamic look to the front of the trailer and uh, all new for the, the 2022 model, all the new graphic package, all of those things. Again, you've got awesome storage up here underneath your, your bed here as well. Now we are showing uh, just as a display purpose only, this is not the solar panel that comes with the trailer, but it, we are just showing it that you can add more solar uh, to the trailer if you are off grid camping. Uh, you can pack one of these portable, you know, suitcase style solar panels with you. They've got a regulator on them. We sell them right in our parts department. Uh, Jacques, our parts manager, will treat you right on that. Uh, but it just plugs right into the plug and play adapter right there and that'll be wired right up to your batteries up front. Part of the off-grid package, folks, you do get a 100-watt GoPower solar panel on the trailer. Very, very good quality solar panel. Um, it also comes with a 1,000-watt uh, GoPower inverter as well. So the inverter will convert your 12-volt power to 110 power. So if you have a laptop, uh, any entertainment functions, anything that basically will run at 1,000 watts or less, you can operate inside this trailer right off your batteries, which is uh, a really nice idea uh, to be able to bring, you know, your electronic goods with you, that sort of thing. It won't run the air conditioner, it won't run your, uh, your microwave, those sorts of things, but in terms of a television, entertainment, laptop, uh, all those sorts of things, uh, most definitely. A uh, cool little concept they've got here for our puppies. We love our puppies. Uh, it's got the leash latch which kind of acts as a bottle opener as well, right through the, uh, the puppy foot there. But then you've got this little T handle here that you can tie their, uh, their tethers to and those sorts of things. So uh, don't want the puppies running off into the woods, chasing after that coyote and what have you, but uh, definitely have that to make it to secure your, your four-legged friends. Again, fold in and out step, gives you that excellent ground clearance. As we come around the front of the trailer here, folks, a couple things. One, this does have the jacket. Uh, let's go aero bike wing bike rack. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, this particular bike rack is, is great for bikes that, you know, you don't mind getting a little bit dirty, those sorts of things, but you can mount two bikes uh, to the front, right up, up front. So, and you're gonna get great clearance as your, you know, your, your vehicle turns, as you're making your turns and backing into those tighter areas and that sort of thing, but comes with, the, uh, with that bike rack, which is real cool. So, coming down the off door side of the trailer. Again, another shot there, great look at the graphics. All new for 2021. We're real excited to have this product. Six gallon gas. Uh, DSI, which is direct spark ignition hot water heater. So you can get that hot water rolling inside the trailer. You do have a 20,000 BTU furnace on this trailer, folks. So in a single cabin trailer like this, a 20,000 BTU heater is more than right sized. Uh, you know, it's gonna heat up the trailer really, really fast. It's not gonna cycle on and off nearly as much as a smaller BTU furnace and uh, this one's gonna get it done for you on that. Your tank capacities, folks, you do have a fresh, a 20 gallon fresh tank. Your gray and black tanks are both 30 gallons as well. So uh, decent tank capacities for sure. It is a smaller trailer. Remember the types of tow vehicles that are gonna pull this. This goes after that 5,000 pound towing vehicle and under depending on the vehicle of course and the payload capacities and we can guide you at our dealership so you're set up properly with the right weight distribution hitch and all the safety features so that you're towing safely but again this the escape is purposely designed and built for people that want a conventionally built trailer um, with a for, with a tow vehicle that's rated to pull 5,000 pounds so uh, just to shoot up here on the weight badge here the unloaded vehicle weight as it came off the assembly line with the features 3,200 pounds. So very, very lightweight. Again, if you've got that 5,000 pound towing capacity, you know, you've got 1,800 pounds of potential cargo that you can put inside the trailer up to whatever the GVWR is, of course, of the trailer. Um, but again, lots of space to be able to hold all of your goodies. So we're just gonna jump up inside. One of the things I love about the E17 hatch, folks, 
22 feet in length. It's not a gigantic trailer. You're not having to worry about slides and the maintenance of slide outs and those sorts of things, but you've got a full queen size bed right in the front of the trailer. Really large windows. You can see that front bonded windshield in the front here, really opening up the interior of the trailer. Side window does lift up. Uh, you've got USB connection here. But one of the things I love about this trailer, folks, is it's got a ton of storage. Like right here at your front door, you've got a coat closet, extra storage. Down here, you could maybe add another shelf there and use that as boot storage if you want. Tons of storage. Uh, above your bed, this is very deep cabinetry. So you can put all your clothing and personal effects and those sorts of things right up above your bed. As we turn around, one of the other things that's really nice is that it does, does come with a portable Bluetooth speaker and a flashlight. That's part of the off-road, off-grid package that just lifts right off. It's got USB connections and those sorts of things which uh, make using the trailer real nice. Um, lot, again, like I said, lots of storage. You'll see the kitchen counter space. I did option in the bamboo sink cover, so it just gives you a little added countertop space, but single basin stainless steel sink, really nice residential style faucet but again a ton of counter space for a little trailer like this is fantastic and again loads of storage you can see we'll just shoot in on these it gets you up underneath you can just see how clean the storage is this just speaks to the quality and the fit and finish of the product and why i chose to go for this brand versus others in the industry. This is a really, again, real cool concept. Drawers are actually quite heavy in trailers with the ball bearing drawer glides, you know, this construction, all those things to have a structurally sound drawer. And so you'll find with a lot of the ultra lightweight products in the industry, beware, a lot of times they don't put drawers in them uh, to save on weight. But what KZ has done is they found this drawer unit that's absolutely fantastic. What I like about it, you can take these tubs right out. You know, if you wanna unload the trailer, um, or load up the trailer you can bring these tubs inside your house fill them up bring them inside they're ultra lightweight uh, but you got four nice drawers here to hold all of your kitchen utensils um, you know dish towels cooking you know anything that you want to put in there uh, makes it really really easy but it's very lightweight which is good so uh, microwave of course added storage up top there's your uh, solar charge controller right there as well so I believe that's a 30 amp charge controller. So you can add more solar to the roof if you so choose. And again, you do have the Fury and stereo in this trailer as well. So that's, you've got your inside speakers, your outside speakers, you can play your tunes, Bluetooth connect to your phone and play all your 1200 songs that you have on your playlist. So there's the inverter switch to turn on your inverter, light switches, awning in and out switch, a uh, great big bathroom gigantic shower here roof to floor lots of space tons of elbow room and then you've got your foot flush toilet as well lots of space around the toilet if you're a larger person you know a lot of these small small trailers especially the teardrop ones um, you know you go in the bathroom and sometimes you got to leave the door open for you to fit inside they're so small this bathroom is gigantic which is real nice again more more storage here Tons of storage. That's a great big pantry. Three shelves. Here's the, the panels are all stacked up inside here. Those are the panels that you utilize to fill in between the two bench seats here to make your additional bed. Added storage down here. And then above your bench seats, you've got more storage. So no shortage of storage back here in this trailer. I'm standing around. There's tons of room back here, folks. Now, they've got two fridge options, okay? We're seeing a, a, a trend, and I'm going to take a stab here in the next two years. I'm going to say almost every trailer RV will have a 12-volt fridge in the industry. It's happening. It's a real thing. Um, this particular model came in with a 12-volt eight cubic foot Furion refrigerator. So this has the off-grid mode as well, so it's a lower power draw if you are doing the off-grid camping, but it's a larger fridge. What's really cool about this, this 12 volt fridge, folks, to get to proper temperature, it only takes like an hour and a half, uh, whereas a gas absorption fridge can take a lot longer. Like look how deep that fridge is. 
There's no vents on the outside of the trailer that you have to worry about for dirt and debris and those sorts of things like the gas absorption fridges. Uh, they're lighter weight. Um, but this is the technology. This is the way the industry is going. The option that they have is you can option in a seven cubic foot gas absorption fridge, which is your typical two-way uh, propane fridge or 110 operation. So I've got another model just like this outside with the gas absorption fridge available as well. So depending on what you really believe and what you want to go with, uh, we've got both options here for you. But again, uh, we're seeing a lot of our brands and other products and those sorts of things going to the 12 volt fridge. So um, again, this is it. This is the 17 hatch by KZ, the Escape. And uh, we're real, real happy to be carrying this product. Um, you know, we've built this dealership around being primarily exclusive grand design. Um, of course, this year's challenged us in that front and getting product and those sorts of things. But this particular product gets you into a very lightweight, conventionally built, ruggedly built trailer, packed full of feature content in a weight category that grand design just can't get to. Uh, at the moment so we've done exceptionally well with the escape one other thing to point out it's coming to mind I know I just free flow these videos galvanized steel wheel wells so if you're doing a lot of gravel travel um, you know in a lot of your price point cheaper trailers if you look underneath above your tire they just have that darko fabric going over top of your tire so any road debris and that sort of thing will just shred that and expose your wood floor on this particular product you don't have to worry about that so outdoor outdoor speakers I like how they've done that just like a grand design imagine folks they mount that speaker to the outside wall of the trailer utilizing a little hole for a wire rather than a big hole countersinking a speaker so just they're really thinking about the structural integrity of the trailer and the long-term uh, maintenance and those sorts of things for moisture intrusion and what have you so again my name is Clayton Phillips I'm at Woody's RV World here in Leduc we are the exclusive KZ Escape dealer within our organization in Western Canada, and uh, we'd love to have you come by. Uh, if the hatch model isn't quite right for you or you need more of a conventional bunk model or you want something with a slide out, uh, again, the KZ Escape, the unloaded vehicle weights are ranging in that 2,800 pounds up to 4,000 pounds dry weight, depending on the size uh, and floor plan of the trailer. So we have them with bunk models, with slide outs, uh, we have the, the hatch models. Uh, they do build two models on a tandem axle that are a little bit longer. You know, you're getting up to that 25, 27 foot uh, length range, um, but a little bit more space inside. So love to host you at our dealership here in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. We are 15 minutes south of Edmonton and a two minute drive from the uh, Edmonton International Airport. So we've had a lot of customers fly in and more so on the motorhomes and drive coaches home. So. 780-986-1234 is the number to our dealership. Come check us out. We're a little store, but uh, we got some of the best products in the industry that we're so jacked to represent. So a little shot of our showroom here and what you're gonna experience when you come by. So again, happy camping, take care, be safe out there and uh, create memories that'll last a lifetime. Thanks for your time. Take care.